CCTV Detol Paneka Swast India campaign is talking about matters of health and hygiene. Today on April 7th, which is World Health Day. We can't talk about our health without talking about the health of the planet. In fact, the COVID-19 pandemic has been a reminder of the delicate relationship between people and our planet. Joining us now is Dia Mirza, actor, eco-investor, UN Environment Goodwill Ambassador and UN Secretary General's Advocate for SDGs. Dia, it's always a pleasure to have you with us. So we see climate change, global warming is evident. We're witnessing it with heat waves, off-seasonal rainfall, extreme weather conditions. Tell us what is the correlation between planet health and human health? I mean, the link between climate change and diseases. It's a very important question, Ambika. Thank you for having me firstly and for asking this question. I think we need to all collectively do so much more to help people recognize the interconnection between planetary health and human health. So we are in the midst of facing the climate crisis, um, the pollution, the crisis of pollution, and the crisis of biodiversity and nature loss. All of these three aspects impact human health directly. Um, climate change, of course, like you mentioned in your question, uh, drives drought, frequent uh, flooding, there's forest fires, so that pollutes the air, um, leads to biodiversity loss, that impact, that in turn impacts everyone everywhere. When we talk about the triple plant planetary crisis, we speak of air pollution and air pollution is a very big part of that. And there is a very tangible experience that we are all having in so many cities and places in our country and the world. One in nine people um, are suffering from air pollution related health issues. Um, then, of course, there are other aspects to pollution, like water pollution and soil pollution. Uh, the fact that almost 11 million metric tons of plastic is finding itself in, you know, in the natural world. And, and that we still don't know the full impacts on human health because of that. Right. There are studies that have evidenced the fact that plastics have been found in the bloodstream of babies plastics has been found in you know breast milk um it's made its well way into human feces so and we f still don't know uh yeah. what that is doing to us right but it can't be good um and the third aspect is of course biodiversity loss now there is a significant rise in zoonotic diseases because of biodiversity loss when we lose nature you know there is a higher frequency of um in infectious diseases jumping from animals to people and yes human health is completely intertwined with planet health yeah, it's a critical decade for us to take decisive action as individuals recognize the crisis, make right choices. How do you think we should be addressing this? Asking the right questions. And of course, along with asking the questions, asking ourselves, what are the changes that we can make to help drive change? And of course, there are so many young people who are coming up with great innovations, making a difference, supporting them, enabling them. Uh, investing in them because I think a very big part of driving change will be funding that change you know making the shift from uh, you know polluting technology to cleaner technology uh, making the shift from polluting products to cleaner products all of this will only happen when we start as individual investing in those ideas investing in those companies so uh, it's a combination of all of these things but there is a power that the individual has and we all need to start exercising that power. Thank you, Dia, for joining us today.